Hello everybody, it's Yashar here, back again with another video to help you experience something new today. If you want to buy a Moto360 Sport Edition, consider watching this video until the end because I used this watch for almost a month and I just want to give you my honest opinion about this smartwatch. That's being said, let's start the video. As you probably guessed from the name, the 360 Sport is a sportier version of Moto 360's second generation smartwatch at an affordable price. It has a dedicated running app and built in GPS. You should get this watch only if you want it for sport activities. It definitely doesn't look great if you want to wear it with a suite, for a date, or for a business matter. If you want a business smartwatch with a classy look, get a Fossil Q Marshall. Huawei watch or Gear S3 Classic. But if you want activity tracking functionalities like Fitbit, but you want more smart features like notifications, like beautiful watch faces, like heart rate monitor and stuff like that, then you may want to consider Moto 360 Sport. Moto 360 Sport comes only in three colors, black, white and flame which is orange and it has only one size to choose from. 42mm which has a 1.37 inch LCD display with 263 ppi or pixel density which is not a bad display for a smartwatch. The screen in the outside and in direct sunlight is bright enough that I can read all of my notifications and track my activities without any problem thanks to the adaptive hybrid LCD display of the watch. The watch does have heart rate sensor, accelerometer, gyro, altimeter, GPS, mic, 4GB storage and a special watch face which allow you to start your activities directly from the watch face. Speaking about activity tracking, it's not the most accurate activity tracker on the market, especially if you compare it to Garmin products, but it does the job done with nearly a high degree of accuracy. Watch has IP67 dust and water resistant which is pretty cool. It has a 300 mAh battery capacity and you can charge your watch via the wireless moto charger which is really easy to set up. You just need to rest your watch on the charger and it will start to charge up pretty quickly. The wireless charger is one of the best features of Moto360 Sport Edition. The watch band has a nice silicon material but it's not interchangeable and it's a dust absorber. Overall, I like the watch as a sport activity tracker but like every single product that I review on this channel, there are always some aspects of a watch that I don't like. The first thing I don't like about Moto360 Sport Edition is the watch strap. As I mentioned before, you can't swap your watch band, which is a big deal for me. I like to swap watch straps a lot. I do it on my Gear S3, on my Fossil Q Marshall, on my Huawei watch, and even on my original Moto360. But with this one, you will stuck with this badly made band forever. A strap picks up dust and fluff like crazy. I don't know, I keep my watches very clean, but just look at my black strap here. The band is not stiff, it feels comfortable on your wrist, but it's absorbed a lot of dust and you can't exchange it for another band, so yeah, I don't like it at all. The next thing I don't like about Moto360 Sport is this flat tire. I don't know when Samsung can come up with a full 360s screen, when Huawei and LG can do that, I'm sure Motorola or Lenovo can do it as well. I don't like this flat tire design at all. It has a negative effect on the beauty of the watch and also it wastes a part of your screen. Next, size of the watch. The watch size is too small for me. I know it's a subjective matter but personally I don't like it at all. If you have a smaller wrist than me, it should be fine. Or if you just like smaller watches, but personally I don't like it. Next, the watch doesn't have NFC. It means I can't use it for Android Pay. Which is important, one of the main reasons you buy a smartwatch is the James Bond factor. It means you do stuffs with your watch that make you look techy and futuristic. Paying with your watch at grocery store or in Starbucks can be possible with NFC. Without NFC you lose this aspect a lot. It also doesn't have SIM card tray, it means no LTE support which drops the James Bond factor again. Next, no rotating bezel, no crown and no additional button. It basically means navigating through the menus is a little bit more difficult. 
Samsung has this rotating bezel and it's not a gimmick. I actually use it every single day to navigate through the menus and notifications without even touching my screen. And it's way more easier than touching. Apple and LG new watches have rotating crown and a smartwatch like Zenwatch 3 has three different buttons which can add more shortcuts. With Moto 360 Sport Edition you only have one button here and you almost need to touch the screen for every single thing which I don't like it again. Next, no Android Wear 2.0 update yet. It seems that Moto 360 Sport will get Android Wear 2.0 update but still it's not here. The Moto 360 second gen got the update a while ago but still there is no news about Android Wear 2.0 update on the Sport variant which is really disappointing. Finally, the battery life. You have to charge your watch every single night and if you use the GPS a lot then it will kill the battery even faster. I use my watch with Bluetooth on with always on display and I receive a lot of notifications every day. So if you don't use your watch that much you may survive a full 24 hours with your watch but the battery life is not impressive to me. It's not garbage but it's not impressive. I don't like the battery life of my Moto 360 Sport Edition. My final verdict for Moto 360 Sport Edition is unfortunately a 5 out of 10. The watch has good amount of sensors, it provides a smooth Android Wear experience and the price tag is right. But the band quality, flat tire design, screen size and lack of proper menu navigation tools have negative effect on my judgment and I have to say it's an average Android Wear smartwatch. It's a still a great option if you want a sporty watch with GPS at an affordable price and if you are okay with this silicon band. I would definitely love to review the next Moto 360 Sport, the second generation smartwatch in the future if Motorola or Lenovo decide to make another Sport variant with a changeable strap. But until that time, I see you guys in the next review. Farewell.